What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to control your KitKat Galaxy device with your Windows PC. Now I kind of snuck the system requirements in there, but to expand on those, you'll need a Windows PC running XP or higher, so basically any Windows PC that was built after Clinton was president. And on the Android side of things, you'll need a Samsung Galaxy device that runs stock TouchWiz with a base of Android 4.4 or higher. Now there are two pieces of software that you'll need to install for this to work. One for the Galaxy and one for the PC. So let's start with the Galaxy app. Just open up your Play Store app and search SideSync, all one word, to get it installed. Then really all you have to do is open the app and go through its initial feature tour. When you get to this screen, you can just put the phone down and head over to the PC. Alright, so now over on the computer, you'll need to download the official SideSync Windows program. I've got a direct download for this over at the full tutorial, so head to the link in the description below to grab your copy. Next, you'll just have to run the installer file. You might have to type in an administrator password here, depending on your Windows setup. But installing SideSync for Windows is pretty simple. Basically, just accept the terms of the license agreement, then follow the prompts for installation. You may be asked to install a DirectX plugin at some point during this process, but again, just follow those prompts. Then with that out of the way, SideSync will automatically launch. As it says, just make sure the SideSync app is running on your phone for this first connection. After this first time though, you don't even have to open the app to use this function. And then you can set whether you want the connection to be done over Wi-Fi or a USB cable. I don't have a Wi-Fi card on this computer since it's a desktop, so I'll stick with the USB connection. Now all I have to do is connect my phone to my PC with a USB cable, and the software will take care of the rest. So it's a pretty cool interface actually. The frame around my display has the same buttons that are on my Galaxy S5, so I can navigate using those just like I would with the phone. Then the mouse pointer behaves exactly like a touch event on your phone, so you can tap, swipe, and long press, just like you would on the phone. There are a few more controls on the window here, so let's see what those do. You have your basic Windows controls at the top right, close, minimize, and full screen. And then the button on the left shows you a few more options. There's a button that will toggle mouse and keyboard sharing. Then you can keep this window on top of all others with this button. You can rotate the display here, and you can even take a screenshot that will be saved right to your desktop. This last button is kind of pointless though, since it basically just opens up Windows Explorer and lets you browse to your phone's storage, which you could have done just the same without installing SideSync. But the response time on this thing is really nice. Let me rotate the display and go full screen, so I can show you how well gameplay works. It's got a high refresh rate on the video feed, and input latency is really low. I'd say it's a tad better than the touch delay on Chromecast screen mirroring, for instance. And then there's one other cool feature I wanted to show you. You can share your clipboard between devices. So basically you can copy any text on the PC, then paste it into a field on the phone, or vice versa. Pretty cool, right? But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.